Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video of AWS project, it is step six, wherein we'll create a DB instance. In this step, we will create an Amazon RDS for MySQL DB instance that maintains the data used by the web applications. And before you, if you are uh, just watching this step six, I would request you to make sure that you have a VPC with both public and private subnets and corresponding security groups. If you don't have it, please watch step one to step five in my previous videos. Now to create a MySQL DB instance, I would have to sign into Amazon console and take it from there. I was here, I will click on log back in. It will take me to my Amazon console. Password, I've checked it to save password. I'm logging on to my Amazon console, which is in US West 2 because I created all my previous resources in US West 2. So if I show you my EC2 service, I would have an EC2 instance running. I have a one running instance. It's T2 small size. Okay, now I will open up the services tab and I click on RDS, Manage Relational Database Services. I'm here. So in the upper right corner of the AWS Management Console, you have to choose the region. Like I selected Oregon, which is US West 2. You can select any region you want. And now under databases on the left hand side, click on databases. You will see no instance. So I will click on create database. On the create database page, I would get an option that uh, to create a standard or an easy create, I will select standard create and under the engine options, I would select MySQL out of all of these six options available. You can select any database you want in any of the project, but with this project, I'm gonna go with MySQL. In the templates section, we'll choose free tier here. And in the settings section, we will set the values as this. So in the DB instance identifier, it's written database dash one. I'm going to mention this as tutorial DB instance. Credential settings under the master username, I'm going to mention tutorial underscore user and auto generated password I would disable this option and I would enter my own master password I would confirm the password <clears throat> Let me do that again. I don't know why it's saying invalid password. I'm going to go with the DBT2 micro in the burstable class. And in the storage and availability and durability sections, I would use the default values. And in the connectivity section, I'm gonna open additional connectivity configuration and set these values. 
I'm going to go with my VPC that I selected, Tutorial VPC. And it says after the database is created, I cannot change the VPC selection. So be very cautious. And uh, under this additional connectivity configuration, under the subnet group, I'm going to go with my Tutorial DB subnet group. And under the public section, public access, I'm sorry, I'm going to go with no. And under the existing VPC security groups, I'm going to choose an existing VPC security group that is configured for private access, which is my tutorial DB security group. Like this. And database port is 3306. And I've removed the other availability zone. Availability zone is not required here. And if you would go to the additional configuration section in the initial database name, I'm going to go with sample. And I'm going to keep the default settings for the other options. I'm going to choose create database. Okay. Contains at least eight characters and okay. Now it is fine. Okay, it is creating a database now. So that is how you create a MySQL Amazon RDS instance. So it'll take a few minutes. It is the status is showing as creating. Now, after the database is created, I'm going to note the endpoint and port for the database instance. We will use this information to connect our web server to the database instance. And to make sure that DB instance is as secure as possible, verify that source outside of the VPC cannot connect to your DB instance. And after this step, we will create an EC2 instance and we will install a web server onto it. So that would be our next step. I hope you liked this video. Let me pause this video for the time being because it is still stuck on creating so let me show you the endpoint that gets created and after that we will move on to the next video and if you have a closer look at this it also the status also shows as backing up so if i click on refresh here also it is still backing up so it will be created in few seconds from now and if you will click on it, this is the endpoint to access the MySQL instance. And this is the port number. So I hope you liked this video. And if you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section. I'm going to come up with the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.